Hey, what's up, guys? I'm making a video talking about a new uh, Trade Planet scam, and honestly, I'm really disappointed in the Rocket League community right now. Trade Planet is one of my favorite servers uh, to go on just to talk to people. They've got middlemen. They've got a lot of people on here. Yeah, so they've got a lot of trading that they can do, and it disappoints me. But somebody has recently committed a scam. Uh, one of their mods named Cloudy, who decided to go rogue because he needed to pay off fifteen hundred dollars to his parents in debt. Which honestly, to me, is like if you're in debt, you shouldn't be scamming people on a video game to pay off your debt. You obviously are in debt for a reason. So going on, I'm on Reddit, the source of all drama, and. Um, I'm not going to read word for word what happened, but uh, Chucks and Merce, uh, where Merce is the uh, middleman, aka Cloudy, Chucks gave him alpha caps, alpha boost, and alpha wheels, um, all for cryptocurrency. And Mercy sh or Merce showed how he was a middleman, and he gave him the items. A few minutes later, Merce at, or he asked Merce what was taking so long. He replied he had to get his phone for the Coinbase uh, two-factor authorization. A few more minutes into the trade, Merce left, and Chucks was there without his payment. That's when he messaged Maz, manager of Trade Planet, which is true. Maz is a manager right here. He asked, saying if he was working with uh, scammers. I talked to a mod, uh, Praise Alex, aka Alex, um, about it, and he said he doesn't know what will happen and he may or may not be reimbursed. So he's been working with Zaychi, the DM with Zaychi looks like this. I assume you're getting messaged by people, what's up with Merce? And then I can't really read that, he goes interesting, I don't think he's hacked, why do you say that? Someone called him on Discord, was him. Also not easy to hack Discord in Steam. Um, and then he was talking to Mr. Guy, who uh, is also working together with him. He goes, I haven't scammed anyone, Neil, nor will I ever. Yes, I did, I have a lot of contact. Um, and then he pretty much says, yeah, you did scam him. And then they talk about some crazy stuff that <laughs> I'm not really going to get into. And then uh, here's the proof that it's Merce. So as you can see, it is Merce uh, there. Delavine, another scammer, um, who I've mentioned before in the last scammer video, uh, he was showing proof that they work together. Um, Delavine says he didn't actually get hacked, he wanted me and Jay to scam on his account so he could pay 1500 debt to his parents. I have uh, proof and whatnot, which I can add to you, and I can screen share my DMs with you, whatever you need. But me and Jay scammed him because I don't like him. And then DMs with Mercs are the ones you're done. And then pretty much here, all it is when they scroll up is him saying, here's the password and uh, username. Yeah. So that's unfortunate that he did that. And I'm disappointed, as I said earlier, because I don't see a reason to scam like that. I think it's kind of stupid. Uh, Yang Tai, he just purchased keys and never got anything, and Sloth as well, and he got a selfie from, uh, what's his face? From Merce. So yeah. He also has not gotten, uh, reimbursed yet, he's hoping he will, and that's about it. Here's my opinion. I think... He's already, well, so he's already been banned. He's lost a lot of friends. He's banned on RL Tracker, on RL Insider, and many other places. I think that there should be some sort of system that Rocket League has, Psyonix has, that can ban your account if you scam with proof. I know that that's difficult because scams are, like, it's one against terms of service of Psyonix to trade an item for money but that's not really like that's not stopping anybody because you know that, that happens quite often for steam cards or paypal or whatever so that's the issue there but 
I think there's got to be some sort of scamming technique that Psyonix implements because this is happening way too much at this point. But yeah, that's going to be about it for now. People are uh, replying. We see Mazur's comments. I haven't actually seen this yet. Yeah, here's where it's the scammer page. Openly admitting to giving scammers a Discord account and all that. So yeah, it's unfortunate that it happens and that it happens. I can't do anything about it, they try to do everything in TP, he's banned already, so they're dealing with that, people are going crazy over it, <laughs> it's funny. yeah, um, it's interesting, so I think I'm just playing in the Rocket League community because they continue to scam and continue and continue and it hasn't stopped at all, so that's about it, it's unfortunate but there's not much we can do about it. Anyway guys, it's been great. Sorry I sound a little bit quiet. My throat's not feeling amazing right now, so I can't talk super loud. And I'm not super hyped. Also, I'm never really hyped when somebody gets scammed for $2,500. Because that's a lot of money. And that can go to other places other than some idiot kid who wasted $1,500 and that was his parents. So, yeah. That's my opinion on it. Uh, that's the facts. There's nothing else that... Uh, I left out. Here is the DM if you'd like to take a look at that for a second. Um, and what I said here. So yeah guys, that's going to be about it. Uh, I love you guys. Um, glad I'm uploading again. I hope I can upload a little bit more. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.